what's going on guys we're still here and today we're going to be uh continuing the we happy few uh playthrough so uh this is going to be part two so we just did a little introduction to the game um previously so now we're back into it we're gonna just make sure we got everything we need here I don't think. Yeah, we already searched all that. So, just gonna make sure that we're crafting everything we can, everything we probably need. So, this is kind of what, um, I don't know what the game runs on. So, thirst, um, hunger, fatigue. So you need to sleep, you need to eat, you need to drink, um, your movement speed, your armor, encumbrance, so you can only hold 100 pounds of stuff. Um, it says uh, that you're injured, stuff like that. Um, your health, 70%, joy. So if you take joy pills, stuff like that, to get through like the parade district to kind of make sure you blend in with everybody. Um, there's that there. Memory loss, um, I th think this is if you take too much joy, you start losing memory. Um, that's kind of the, the thing of the drugs. So, um, passive effects. Okay, so this is your health, like what's wrong with your health. And this is what'll um, happen from like what you're wearing, stuff like that. So, uh, I'm wearing a proper suit. So that is this thing here. So, um, like what it says, you fit in with the proper decent sorts of uh, people, um, but it irritates the wrong sort. So the wastrels, they call them. So the downers, um, they get mad at you for wearing the proper suit. Um, because of they think you're like from the parade district which you are but um yeah so we already read through all that so let's get going i'll need some odds and bobs and bits of metal to make a lock pick i already made the lock pick so i kind of skipped ahead i guess What happened to him? Or rather, who? The lock shocker. So I can search. Nothing. Empty syringe. So I think this is like a memory type thing, so we'll come back to that once we pick up all this stuff. This, this pneumatic thing, it kind of explains what it is, but um, it's like a, if you've played like Minecraft, it's like the ender chest, or is that what it's called? Ender chest. Something like that. So anywhere there's this pneumatic stash, uh, whatever you put in there, you'll see later. So... Um, let's grab this diary, check that out, look into the lights of the doctor's order, I could swear there's see his shapes in there moving around like shadows, but made of light, and there's shadows all around, always around the corner, he keeps turning the lights off, says he wants to have the bulbs, he's trying to make me think I'm going blind, isn't he, how he loves to feel superior, September, 20, or September 19th, took two joys just so I could stand his ugly face while I went to work. Swapped them out for something. It means she used to be having any joys. Originally means. Uh, yeah, I didn't know what that word was, so. 
Uh, September 20th, I hear when he talks in that slow, condescending voice like I'm a child, I'm not a child, am I? I don't even know any children. Obviously, Jesus, what is wrong with my joy? So his joy isn't working. Um, so some people, if the joy doesn't work, uh, Uncle Jack has this thing that just says, hey, if it doesn't work, send him off. We don't care. We'll, whatever. Are you just scritching away in the corner? Scritch, 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 the whoosh of the pneumatic tube. He's blaming it all on me. What happened to his knee? It's his missus. I don't believe he's still got a missus. With his big mossy teeth. I bet she went on holiday long ago. Was I married once? How did it end? I got an awful feeling in my stomach. I'm not sure I'm going to enjoy remembering. Uh, up on joy. And he won't send me home. I gotta stay here. Duty. 25th. I can hear him crunching in the dark. It isn't, isn't rats. It's mossy teeth. I can pitch squeezing his throat till he turns to the color of my carrots. Bloody well stole. Plotting something. September 28th. I'm try to weasel out of this one. I saw him writing those lies. Reassign me, Willie. Off my joy, am I? Bloody well tripling. Tripling up. Tri tripling up? Tripping, tripping up. And he knows it. And the end of our time, we're coming in. Our time, we're coming in. Our time. Alright. So let's pick this up. Rav, are you going to hurt us? Oh, no one's going to hurt you, Percy. I, I promise. But, but have they hurt the city? I don't think they'll blow anything else up. Why? Because we surrendered, I hope. Well, what are we going to do, Arthur? We're brothers. I'll look out for... We'll look out for each other. Alright. So, do we... Too bad I don't have any other hatches to go to just yet. Ah, uh, so this... Yeah. Ooh. I forgot that happened. That's the first fight I've won since primary school. Actually, I think it's the first fight I've been in since primary school. <laughs> oh, I got the goosebumps. It scared me. Okay, so we got duct tape and metal bits. Metal bits. Okay, let's not press the button yet. Let's search this guy. Empty. What does that say? Can't really tell. There's a way out, but I want to go through here. Rotten carrot. Bunch of rotten stuff in there. Another rotten carrot. I don't think these rotten things are going to really help me, but... This is the bathroom, isn't it? He was spying on me in the bathroom. That's what I heard. When I was looking up at the vent, I heard something, so... Dang. Alright, let's get out of here. District, which I just got chased out of. Brilliant. Ah, the train station. If I can get to the train station, I can just follow the old rail tunnel all the way to the bridge. Be nice if there was a map, wouldn't it? 
I suppose back in those days we could remember where things were. All right, so that's you dead? Yeah. I actually think dead. you owe me a bit of money. Scotch. Nice as that. All right. Travel to the train station. All right. So since I'm wearing a proper suit, I gotta kind of, I gotta kind of stay low. Um. Stay low and not, don't let a lot of people see me. Um, but if I do, then I mean I just have to run away and hide, or kill them, or whatever. But so. I will find you. Aries, they grow all over the Garden District, don't they? I guess I can eat these till I run across a pub. <laughs> a rose of Gilead. Percy told me about these. They're good for wounds and things. Okay, so... Oh, wrong button. Okay, so... Heal thyself, so now I just need to match them up. So I just go to... Craft thing, healing balm, the rose of Gilead, Gilead or Gilead petals. Um, I can craft them into healing balm. Then at that point, I can use them. It works. And it now works my better. health is up to uh, I'm up to full health. Like so there's the main line is in the parade district weather I'll warn my welcome there. Uh wait, I can just follow the tracks from Wellington Ball Station all the way to the bridge, can't I? Just have to get in the train station, walk right out of town. Right. So as you can see they're they're downers as you can A crib. Oh god. Oh Jesus. When was the last time there was a baby in Wellington Wales? I wonder if they meant the kids on the train. Somebody to What's on those beds? Oh god. I'm not the only one remembering the children, am I? Makes sense. They're all off their joy out here. Major night, sleep tight, everything's tucked out of sight. My fair lady. Hobby pin. Hobby pin. Empty pill bottles. A toy tea set. Funny, Percy never played with toys. They didn't like anything that wasn't really the thing it was supposed to be. to make a lockpick. Not much of anything in you to use in there, so... Yeah, there's not really mo oh, I'm in the chest over there. How do I get over there? Parkour, that's how. Metal bits, loose screw caltrops. I don't know what caltrops are. So uh, let's see what this journal's all about. I'm sorry to report that the girl spoon wouldn't eat her porridge, so I sent her to bed without supper. Nanny. I think that might be a letter from before um, this all this whole thing went down. So um. Yeah, let's get uh let's get to the train station and see. Nice scent. 
Thank you. My uncle bought it for me last Christmas. Anxious to get back home to the village? Well, I... Uh, well, I live in the parade. <laughs> you won't get past that door. Not without one of them disposable electrical cars that all the bobbies have. And a power cell. Know where I could mug a bobby? <laughs> You're a brave one, aren't you? No. I'll trade you one. Don't you want to go back home? Home to all those bastards who chased me out of my house. When they all catch the plague and die. Then I'll go back. There's something I want a whole lot more. Those bastards in that camp over there. With the helmets and the proper weapons. They took something from me. You get them back for me. I'll give you my card. Sounds quite dangerous, isn't it? Of course it's bloody dangerous. That's why I'm paying you. Come and find me. In that sort of hamlet over there. We'll trade. All right. Well, what are they? My medals. From the war. I won the DSO at Dunkirk. And the Victoria Cross at Ramsgate. Those bastards. They thought it was funny that I still had them. Fucking funny they thought it was. No, I only need a power cell to fire this thing up. Who'd have stole most of those too? Right. Well, I'll see what I can do. Well, off I go to a camp of robbers. Maybe I can defeat them with my rapier sharp wit. Where's he going? Okay, so the in multiple quests you can choose which one to focus by selecting a track and counter button. Okay. Um so we'll track this one okay, so it's already being tracked. So if I want to get that chap's medals back and maybe a power cell, I've gotta find a way into the fortified camp of the head boys. Like some nasty thugs. I'm sure this will go swimmingly. Alright, so I have to go over there. Let's grab that quick. Grab this quick. Heaven's alive. Ah. I'm just gonna craft healing bomb now, because I don't know. Once I get in there, I don't know what's gonna happen. So craft a Jimmy bar or two. Couple lock picks. Bloody right. fortress. I look pretty well buttoned up. I suppose I can wait here till they throw a party for the whole mm. neighborhood. Tonight, tonight. We'll find a clever way in. That's right, that's right, that's right, thing. Fight to the death, ding dong. I gotta find my way in somehow. There's a path down here, so I assume it'd be nope. right here. Let's go in. This, if I could never get in here. So that little megaphone thing that you see, it shows that I'm making noise when I'm like picking locks or like searching bodies or stuff like that. So um, when that happens, I guess I have to take that elevator. I hope no one notices. Um, when that happens, people look at you like you're suspicious, like any other. Any other game would, so... Uh... Lovely day, Fred. A lovely day it is. Not many people get this far. It's sort of a test. Someone who gets this far usually puts up a decent fight in the arena. I don't suppose there's some way I could be more useful to you alive. I don't know. Can you juggle? Well, I can write a lovely poem. 
I won a prize in school. Nah. We've already got a bad. First, put your things in that box. Or we'll leave you there to starve. Well, he said he'd leave me here to starve, so... Gird thy loins for the moment of truth. For it is upon you. You lucky I'm in this cage, boy. Alright, so head boy rules. For little George's initiation, he has to win an arena fight with a tourist. No fair fighting, wasteful weaklings. Fresh meat only, haha. -ha. Steal food not looted from dead body. Sneak into the village and steal a bobby hat. Maybe make it the red bobby hat. That's a fight I'd like to see. Haha. <laughs> Clean my leather jacket. Stop being a dull wanker. Stop being a dull wanker. Oops. I guess little George might not be a head boy material after all. Ha <laughs> ha. Right. to his wallet. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please welcome warmly Arthur, King of the Parade! Yeah. See if he can keep blood off that lovely yeah. suit. Especially his. Oh no, not Danny Defoe. Bloody hell! Arthur Hastings! I'm sorry? I, I don't... I don't think I know you! Of course you know me! You got me sacked from the old current! I, uh... I, I don't remember that! I, I, I don't work there anymore! You thought one of my articles was insufficiently original! Danny Defoe! You, you've lost a bit of weight! To be fair, you did copy my piece line by line! Who gives a shit, Hastings? A newspaper's supposed to make you feel good. Nobody remembers what they read. I don't want to fight you. The feeling is muted. There's only enough food for the winners, see? Now, lads, choose your weapons. One is quite lethal. The other will just give the other chap some bad dreams. Up to you. That padded one doesn't look nearly as effective. How badly do I not want to kill good old Danny? Well, what if uh, he picks the... Why does he get a pipe and I get a stick? Or what if he pip picks the, uh, the pipe? And Danny's picked the lethal one. That's cheery. So did I. Hey, some guy. I got great odds on you. Don't fuck it up. He's got to come on strong with that lead pipe. You've got to want to block that. Twice jump up. He'll drop his guard. Fuck off home. Twice jump up. He'll drop his guard. Oh. Danny and someone fighting you? Yeah, that's going to be you here soon.
guess I'm going back in. people that won Howard Hancock Marnie Robert maybe I'll find Percy here that'd be bad that was bad I'm sorry rotten tomatoes is she a Jimmy Jimmy bar Jimmy bar Alright, well, I gotta climb. Are they some sort of vent? I wonder if I can pry it loose. I'd need a jimmy bar. I suppose now that no one is actively trying to kill me, I ought to be on the lookout for a motoline dispenser. That chap at the bridge said I'd need a pen. Clean quest through Wellington Wolves will give you skill points. To use your skill point, open the skill tree. You have earned enough skill points. Uh, you can purchase skills to improve your abilities. Purchase the sweet dreams skill. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. Highly choke people unconscious from behind. Smother them unconscious in their beds. I suppose oh, now yeah. that no one is, I better figure out how to get rid of it real quiet. Like, I definitely don't want a crowd. Oh, oh just relax. Don't question it. I'm gonna drop him on the loo. Oh, kinda. He's just passed out drunk. Ooh, a four healing bomb. Bomb. Alright, take one, so I'm at full health. You can also drink from the tap, so that's what I'm gonna do. Alright, everything is good. The sneak while sneaking, your visibility, vis visibility is lowered and you make less noise. You can also see the footsteps of nearby enemies through walls. Try sneaking past the hooligan in this room. Oh. I don't want to kill him. Search his body for. Search his body for. <gasps> He's got a Jimmy bar. Alright, Ned. You're just gonna sleep here for a bit. Alright. <clears throat> Bobby Pin, Rotten Onion, that does me good. Bridge, nothing. Tea leaves. War ration. Mechanical bits in the counter, teacup, search kettle, blue current, chest. Sewing kit, pocket expansion kit. Oh, pocket expansion kit. So. I go into my inventory and I go pocket expansion kit and I use it I gain more space in my pockets so alright uh, so one is healing, two is food, three is tools and throwables, four is drugs Press that button again to scroll through the items queued in each slot. Hold E to use or equip item. Uh, it's easy to move among your enemies if they're looking somewhere else. To cause a distraction, select your gadget quick slot with three and tap three again until you cycle to a bottle. 
Raise the bottle with E. Your target is marked with a rotating reticle. Then press and hold. You release the throat someplace you want them to go investigate. To abort the throat, just tap that. Okay. So I'm going to pick these up. I have seven. So. I think I'm just going to throw it over there. Gotta get out that way, right? I guess I'm just gonna do that. I'm not very good at this, I guess. Across the bridge. All right. Now I just need that power cell. How do I get a power cell? Am I dying because I'm hungry? Hang on. Or ration, raw potato, blue currant. Find a power cell. There we go. I can find a power cell right there. This looks important. Motylene, pure resublimated dimotylene. The fuel of the future now. everything I had when they jumped me. Alright. Let's get out of here. Grab more glass bottles. I have 24 of them. If I crouch, I bet I can disappear into those bushes. Things won't spot you if you're sneaking in one of the bushes with yellow flowers unless they bump into you. Okay. Didn't I just choke out a Ned Ferris? Killing his whole family. And a bunch of glass bottles. I don't need glass bottles anymore. Uh oh. You do not see me, but I can see you. Alright. I just gotta get out of here. What is that glass bottle? I don't need any more of those. Oh, that's where I came out of. <laughs> it's like, what? Is that a secret bunker or something? Alright, so 
I just need to wait until he turns. I might be able to sneak away. Pick the lock to get out. They lock you in here. Don't let me don't let me come back, thanks. Alright. Let's go give David Livingston his medals. Is this the right quest? Yeah. Blue Courant. So blue Courant you can eat. Got it. Rock. Ooh. Uh, she did. It occurs to me that the locals may not be all that welcoming. Oh dear, let's try not to get killed, shall we? <laughs> I don't want to go that way. Uh, hello? Anyone out there? What the hell? Are you a tourist? You're dressed like one. Shit. Slumming it, are we? Must be nice to have a closet. Over here, over here. Do you want to get thrashed? Come in. Come in. God, you're new here, aren't you? From the parade. Yes. Well, I... How could you tell? <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you how to survive your next five minutes, and in return, you'll give me your socks. Well, that's outrageous. Your funeral. <laughs> Why are they so angry? Because that suit you're wearing reminds them of all the jolly, proper, decent wellies who drove them out of the homes in the village. And now we're all cold and tired and starving to death. You better get a nice sharp rock and rip that to shreds. My uncle gave this to me for Christmas. Or they'll rip you to shreds. Shit. I hadn't thought there would be so many. Yeah, it's like the latest groovy nightclub, isn't it? People get a bad batch of joy, and it like flips a switch, and they can't take joy anymore. So they get chased out of the village. Been a lot of bad batches lately. So what happens if I rip up my suit? They invite me over for tea and biscuits. Then they really won't give a damn what you do, so long as you don't take things that don't belong to you. Or go up and punch someone in the nose. Now you can survive the next five minutes. Cheerio! So, I have to dress for success. I really don't want to have to rip up this lovely suit. My uncle gave it to me for Christmas. On the other hand, I really don't know what the mom does. Let's rip this up, aren't I? So... Get a torn suit, you have to have a rock and a proper suit. So oh, I don't think my suit is now decent it's torn. Yeah, so now I'm wearing a torn suit. But in those awful wastrels, upsets decent folk obviously where it can form in the garden oh, district. I could wear it around the garden district, but proper folk will have me pegged for a wastrel. Oh, there's a memory thing right there. Mind the side effects. I got your medals. That stuff. Thank you. You don't know what these mean to me. To know that some of us fought. To know that I fought. You're probably too young to remember. We stood tall in those days. In 42, we threw them back in the sea. Then they came back in 43. They weren't the same. I hate to be a bother, but the card to get across the bridge? Right. Oh, of course, yeah, sorry. Forgive an old man his memories. Well, good luck. I've got this key card, and I can power up the gate with the power cell. I guess I'm ready to cross the bridge. Yeah, scotch. All right, I'm gonna do this. I lied for you today at 4.15. Shh. That's not good, Percy. You're rubbish at lying. I was a good liar today. Shh. Who did you lie to? Mrs. Boyle. Mrs. Boyle came here? Her face was all red, and and her voice was like mom when she's angry. And I thought that you would ask me why she's angry. 
Why was she angry? I decided that she was angry. But I decided that she was angry because you were up in the tree next to Sally Boyle's bedroom window last night at 8.15 p.m. Oh, bloody hell. What exactly did he say? I told her that I was in the tree. Oh, Percy, that's very bad. No, Arthur, it's brilliant. Why is it brilliant? She won't make me be in trouble because I'm slow. You didn't have to do that. She told me not to do it again, so I promised I wouldn't. Thank you. I love you, Arthur. I love you too. Alright, so he was outside Sally's bedroom. A safe. I suppose if there's something valuable in this house, it ought to be in here. It's very valuable. Check upstairs real quick. All right, let's let's dump some stuff here. I don't need rotten potatoes. I don't need thirty-one bottles either. Let's drop it down to like 10. Give me bars. We'll leave those. Run carrot. Run apple. Run onion. Good carrot. Run mushroom. All right, let's see what can be crafted. where I'm going to end it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, uh, comment what you want to see. Um, obviously this is only the second episode and I didn't really get too far into it, but um, if you enjoy it, leave a like, subscribe, uh, hit me up on my socials. Uh, I think I have Instagram and Twitter in the description below. Um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next one. Show somebody who wrote pearly white teeth today. Peace out.